Okay, it's today's tanks blog for April 23rd, 2017. This is the first of many. Uh, I'm going to try to get one up most days. I can't promise you I'll get them up every day. But here we go. The Frank the Tank blog for April 23rd, 2017. This was an absolute nightmare of a week for the New York Mets. They cannot be playing any worse. They only won one game this week. They were lucky to win that game. If it wasn't for Jay Bruce hitting two home runs, they would have. They'd be right now on a god awful, nightmarish nine game losing streak. They've lost eight out of their last nine, and they're just playing terrible baseball. They're a terrible team to watch. Everyone's hurt again. Ray Ramirez. I tell you, if I'm a player on the Mets and I see Ray Ramirez coming, I'm screaming, "No, no, stay away! Please, go, go, go!" I mean, this guy is. The worst trainer I have ever seen. You know, I don't understand how many players get hurt every year. It's the same thing. It's annoying. It's frustrating. It's aggravating. <sighs> and now the Mets are 8-11. <sighs> they got three games at the Braves coming this weekend. Uh, if they don't win those three games, they're in serious trouble. And then they got the Nationals coming again next week in Washington. There's a very good chance this team could be... Five or six games below 500 on May 1st, and 10 games out of 1st. It's just about over if this, that happens. They need to wake up now. <sighs> Elsewhere in sports today, the uh, Bruins were eliminated by the Senators. The Bruins had their chances. They couldn't win a game on home ice. And uh, when you can't win a game on home ice in the playoffs, you're toast. It's, it's over. Uh, the Senators... They look strong for the next round and should be a tough opponent for the Rangers. I got to look closer into that. Uh, be sure to watch in a couple of days. I should be having my second round uh, picks for the uh, NHL playoffs on sportsencyclopedia.com. I'll share that with everyone when it is complete. Uh, at the same time, the uh, Washington Capitals, uh, it's up to now. It's now or never. It's now or never for the Washington Capitals. They got the uh, Maple Leafs coming up. Uh, and if they don't, you got the Pittsburgh Penguins coming up, if I, I should say. They finished off the Maple Leafs today. Uh, if they don't knock off the Penguins now, they will never win the Stanley Cup. Ovechkin needs to step up his game. This is too many times. He's gone against Sidney Crosby and has lost. This is it. The uh, Capitals have the best team. They had the best defense in the NA regular season. They had the best offense in the regular season. They got one of the best goalies in Braden Holpe. This is it. They got Justin Williams, a, a, per, a proven playoff winner. He's one of the uh, Con Smythe. This is it. No more excuses. This is it for the Capitals. If they can't beat the Penguins now, I don't ever want to hear them again. I don't ever want to hear Alex Ovechkin again. This is it. The Capitals must win that series. For the sake of that franchise. In the NBA today, the uh, Cavaliers, uh, they beat the uh, Pacers, swept them away. Uh, you can't blow 26-point leads in Game 3 at home. I mean, the uh, they played well in Cleveland, but when you choke a lead away that badly, uh, it really puts a black mark on your playoff. And uh, what can I say about the Cavs? They're heating up at the right time. The Eastern Conference looks awful. Uh, the Celtics today, they evened their series with the Bulls. Uh, the road teams won all four games. Uh, I like the uh, I like the Celtics going forward. Uh, the Bulls just lost a whole lot when Ray John Rondo broke his thumb. I mean, that just crippled the Chicago's chances. Uh, so, look for the Celtics to win that series. Although, I think the Bulls might find a way to win one more game in that series. To push it seven games. But, I have no doubt the Celtics will win that series. And OKC Thunder, you just can't spell choke without the letters OKC. They just can't seem to win these big games at the end. And the Rockets just have more weapons, more firepower, and I won't be surprised. This game, this series is basically over. I look for Houston to, to put away the uh, Thunder in Game 5. And uh, Jazz Clippers, that's going to be a war of attrition. I mean, Rudy Gobert came back today. He was a little slowed, uh, and Gordon Hayward now has food poisoning. Who knows where that's going as the series goes back to Los Angeles tied 2-2, uh, and the Clippers without Blake Griffin. It's another breakdown, and basically the two two teams are basically playing just to see who's going to be fodder for the uh, Warriors next round. I mean, the Warriors right now, they don't have their coach. They don't have Kevin Durant, but 
do they really need any of them? I mean, they've got so much firepower, so many weapons. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, I just see them just annihilating whoever they play next. They're going to probably finish off a sweep with the Trailblazers in the next day. And uh, when Kerr comes back, it doesn't really matter. I mean, do they really need a coach with all the talent they have? With the way Steph Curry hits those threes, Clay Thompson, it's incredible. Uh, so we'll see that there. So hopefully this week the Mets play better. I'll have my uh, Stanley Cup preview. Watch out in an hour or so. Or, or I should have my uh, three stars up tonight. Be interesting to see who comes up in that. Always check Sports Encyclopedia. SportsEcyclopedia.com daily to see who our three stars are. What the lead story is and what happened this day in history. And as well as find out whose birthday it is today. This is the first of many to come. Tank blocks. Good day.